from Scout vs. Wild. In this video, I'm going to be showing some of the gadgets that you can use when you're sleeping, such as sleeping pads and sleeping bags. The first thing is I'm going to go over is the one I use. This one is made by REI. It would cost you right now about $40, around that price range. It is relatively light. It self-inflates. It weighs about a little under four pounds, and it self-inflates to two, a little more than two inches, so it's really nice and comfortable. And it comes in a nice bag. It's very portable, sort of, unless you're backpacking, but it's easy to just that's a good one. Um, another one that you can buy, it's about twice as much around the $80 price range right now. It's this big. It's really small. It's called the Big Angus. And it's, it's like $80. I know REI has it. Um, you might be able to get it someplace like Dick's Sporting Goods. You just look around for it. And it is this size. It's not self inflatable, but it's as big as it gets when. Inflated, it's as big as this one is. It's just this size. So it's really nice. And it's insulated, so it'll give you 10 more degrees in your sleeping bag. Um, this is a sleeping bag I use. It's 40 degrees. Some people say get a 20 degree sleeping bag at 40 degree. I just suggest getting a 40 degree. This is a mummy bag, and it's really, it folds up pretty small. It's really nice. It doesn't really matter what brand you get it from. You just want something that's around 40 degrees. We have a nice material, and mummy bags are useful because even though it's a 40 degree bag, the mummy bag actually will keep you warmer, even though it's 40. Um, this is another thing I picked up from REI. It's a um, lightweight fleece sleeping bag or splash liner. You can use it as a liner, and if you use it as a liner for the sleeping bag, this is a mummy bag, so you can also use it as a sleeping bag, so it works really well. It's around $40 price range, so it's kind of expensive, but you can use it just as a sleeping bag, or you can put it inside your um, sleeping bag and at 10 degrees. So if you're keeping track, if you buy one of these that adds 10 degrees warmer, you get one of these, another 10 degrees, you take your 40 degree, that equals a 20 degree bag that you can change out with different temperatures. So it works really well, and then that's not including your clothes. So you can put something on like a nice fleece, and it works really well. So now I'm going to show you this, all these products when they're blown up. So now it's set up. Now I'm going to show you how some of the stuff works. It's very cool. We have our sleeping pad, which is about two inches thick, as you can see. Really nice. It's comfy and nice and padded. It's really actually lie down and it's very nice and comfortable. I don't even feel the ground on this thing. It's kind of so big. So it's really nice, self inflatable. You don't have to blow it up, it doesn't take much time at all. Next, you have, say, it's a relatively kind of cold camping trip. So not too 
called you use this. This will keep you warm to about 35 degrees, and those 40 degrees would be bad because you have your clothes. Maybe even warmer, depending on how much clothes you're wearing. Or say it's really hot camping trip, and you want something, you still want to sleep in like sleeping bag, right? Comfortable. Then you just use your the fleece, which is a mummy bag too. You can adjust it, get in, it's really nice and comfortable. And it's not all that ridiculously warm. It still feels really nice and cool. But say it's really cold. If it's really cold, what you would do is you would take your big one, stick this one in it. Then you want to go in with yourself. Like this. Kind of fit yourself in it. Put yourself in it. Work with it and It's really nice and warm, patty. You can adjust the lumbar because it's around your face. You can still breathe. It is really warm. It's really, it's really good. That's all I have for this video.